Ever thought about where our moon came from? It's an intriguing query, isn't it? The origin of our moon has been a mystery that has captivated scientists and astronomers for centuries. Over the years, numerous theories have been proposed, each with its own set of merits and flaws. Some have suggested that the moon was captured by Earth's gravitational pull, while others proposed that it was a fragment that broke off our planet. Then, there are those who believe that the moon and Earth were formed together, like cosmic twins in the vast expanse of space. Yet amidst the myriad of theories, one hypothesis has managed to garner significant attention, standing out with its audacious proposition and compelling evidence. This theory, known as the Giant Impact Hypothesis, proposes an event so cataclysmic that it forever changed the face of our planet and led to the birth of our moon. But one hypothesis stands out among the rest, the Giant Impact Hypothesis. Now what's this Giant Impact Hypothesis, you may ask? And rightly so. It's a theory that sounds almost like science fiction, but it's a well-supported explanation for the formation of our closest celestial neighbour, the Moon. Imagine, if you will, a time over four and a half billion years ago. The Earth, in its infancy, was not alone in its orbit around the Sun. Another planetary body, roughly the size of Mars, was sharing our orbit. This hypothetical planet is known as Thea, named after the Titan goddess and mother of the Moon in Greek mythology. Now, space can be a crowded place, and eventually, these two celestial bodies crossed paths. But instead of passing each other by, they collided in a spectacular and violent manner. This wasn't a gentle nudge, but rather a high-speed impact, a cosmic car crash, if you will. The force of this collision was so immense that it sent a vast amount of debris hurtling into space. Picture this, molten rock and metals, a cloud of dust and gas, all flying outward from the impact site. This debris didn't just drift off into space, though. The gravitational pull of the newly formed Earth captured it, trapping it in our orbit. Over time, this debris began to coalesce, drawn together by gravity. Small pieces became larger chunks, and these chunks continued to collide and merge, growing larger and larger. Eventually, this process resulted in the formation of the Moon. That's right, the Moon, our Moon, is essentially a child of Earth, born out of a violent collision billions of years ago. This is the giant impact hypothesis in a nutshell. It's a theory that explains not only the Moon's existence, but also its unique composition and its relationship to Earth. Hard to imagine, isn't it? But let's delve deeper. Imagine a body the size of Mars, hurtling towards Earth. Picture it, a celestial object with a mass so colossal it's beyond our comprehension, racing through the vast expanse of space. As it approaches our planet, the tension is palpable. The universe holds its breath. This is no ordinary crash. It's a cosmic collision of unimaginable proportions. The speed is astronomical, the force of impact staggering. The object smashes into Earth with such ferocity that it instantly vaporizes upon impact, releasing energy in the order of billions of nuclear bombs. The sheer magnitude of this explosion would have been enough to melt the Earth's crust, flinging molten rock and debris into space. The dust settles. The echoes of the collision fade away into the silent void of space. What remains is a molten, chaotic world, forever changed by this cataclysmic event. And then, in the aftermath of this cataclysmic event, our moon was born. So how did this violent collision result in the creation of our moon? Well, it's quite an extraordinary tale. Imagine a celestial cataclysm, a young Earth colliding with a body almost the size of Mars, named Thea. The impact was so intense that it ejected a colossal volume of molten rock and metal into space. This debris, left swirling around Earth, was the raw material for the birth of our moon. Now you might wonder, how did this scattered debris become our moon? 
The answer lies in the powerful force of gravity. Gravity, the same force that keeps us grounded on Earth, began to pull the scattered debris together. This process, known as accretion, started to form the building blocks of our moon. At first, there were likely hundreds of moonlets, small bodies of molten rock, each drawn to the others by the force of gravity. Over time, these moonlets collided and merged, growing larger and larger. This process was not a gentle one. Picture fiery crashes, astronomical amounts of heat, and a chaotic dance of celestial bodies. As these moonlets grew in size, so did their gravitational pull. Eventually, one moonlet became dominant, its gravitational pull so strong that it began to attract all the remaining debris towards itself. This dominant moonlet, through countless collisions and merges, grew into what we now know as our moon. But the story doesn't end there. The newly formed moon was a molten, fiery sphere, its surface a sea of magma. Over billions of years, the moon cooled and solidified, its surface scarred by the impacts that had given birth to it. And so, the moon as we know it today, with its familiar craters and seas, was born. Thus, from the remnants of a devastating collision, our moon took shape. This process, from the initial impact to the final formation of the moon, took place over tens of millions of years. It's a testament to the power of nature and the fundamental forces that govern our universe. And it's a story that reminds us of our own origins, born from the dust and chaos of the cosmos. But what evidence do we have to support this hypothesis? Well, like any good detective story, our investigation into the giant impact hypothesis is underpinned by a collection of compelling clues. These evidences come from various disciplines of science, all converging to paint a vivid picture of a cataclysmic event that led to the birth of our moon. First off, there's the matter of orbits. Our moon orbits the Earth in a manner that's quite unique. It follows a path that's more or less in the same plane as the Earth's orbit around the Sun. This is unusual, as most moons in our solar system orbit their planets around the planet's equator. This peculiarity suggests that the moon's origin is intrinsically linked to Earth in a way that's different from other planet moon systems. Next, we examine the isotopic similarities between the moon and the Earth. You see, different bodies in the solar system have distinct isotopic signatures like cosmic fingerprints. These fingerprints are determined by the conditions under which they formed. Now, what's fascinating is that the Earth and the Moon share almost identical isotopic signatures. This is quite extraordinary, given the vast diversity of isotopic compositions in our solar system. It strongly suggests that the Moon and Earth were born from the same cosmic event. Moreover, the Moon's composition itself is a clue its lack of volatile elements, those that evaporate at high temperatures, suggests a violent, high-energy event. This aligns perfectly with the scenario of a massive impact. Lastly, computer simulations have shown that a Mars-sized body colliding with the Earth could indeed result in a debris disk. This disk, with time and under the influence of gravity, could coalesce to form a moon. These simulations provide a practical and theoretical underpinning to the giant impact hypothesis. These pieces of evidence lend strong support to the giant impact hypothesis. The mystery of the Moon's origin is one that has captured human imagination for centuries. And while the giant impact hypothesis isn't the definitive answer, it certainly presents a compelling case, one that is hard to ignore. However, like any scientific hypothesis, this one too has its critics. The giant impact hypothesis, while compelling, is not immune to scrutiny. Some skeptics point to the issue of angular momentum, claiming the hypothesis doesn't adequately account for it. Others underline the absence of a substantial iron core in the Moon, which we would expect if the Moon was born out of an impact with Earth. In response to these criticisms, 
alternative theories have been proposed. The fission theory suggests the moon spun off from the Earth's early molten body. Another alternative, the capture theory, posits that the moon was a wandering body captured by Earth's gravitational pull. Then there's the co-accretion theory, which proposes that the Earth and the Moon formed together from the nebula that birthed our solar system. These theories, while intriguing, struggle to account for all the evidence we have. Yet despite these criticisms, the giant impact hypothesis remains the most widely accepted explanation for the Moon's origin. The Moon has always fascinated us, hasn't it? This celestial body, hanging in our night sky, has been a source of wonder and intrigue since time immemorial. Culturally, it's been a muse for poets, a guide for navigators, and a beacon for dreamers. Scientifically, it's a window into the early solar system, a natural satellite that keeps our planet's wobble in check and our seasons on track. Understanding the Moon's origin is like piecing together a cosmic jigsaw puzzle. The giant impact hypothesis, the theory of its violent birth from a colossal collision, not only unravels the Moon's mystery, but also offers insights into Earth's own history. By studying the Moon, we learn more about our own planet, about the forces that shaped it, and the cosmic dance that keeps it spinning. So the next time you gaze up at the Moon, remember the violent, yet fascinating story of its birth planets wobble in check and our seasons on track. Understanding the Moon's origin is like piecing together a cosmic jigsaw puzzle. The giant impact hypothesis, the theory of its violent birth from a colossal collision, not only unravels the Moon's mystery, but also offers insights into Earth's own history. By studying the Moon, we learn more about our own planet, about the forces that shaped it, and the cosmic dance that keeps it spinning. So the next time you gaze up at the moon, remember the violent yet fascinating story of its birth.